This is the code in action video for chapter 1. In the first code example, we built a small reactor application using class components. To start the code example, first install the dependencies using npm install. I have already installed the dependencies, so I will continue with npm start to start the application. After running npm start, the application should automatically open in your default web browser. Now the application is up and running and we can start using it. For example, I can enter my name here and it will show up in the application. As you can see, the state is automatically synchronized between the name here and the input field here. For chapter 1, code example 2, we did the same thing again, but this time we used React function components with hooks. Again, we can install the dependencies using npm install, which I already did, and then start the application using npm start. As before, the application will open in the browser automatically once it's finished compiling. And again, we can use the same application, but this time it uses function components and hooks.